Welcome to my channel, Gadgets for Gentlemen. I will be comparing the SRPC39K1, which uh, we can see here on the left, against the um, NY0040-17LE. These are both uh, spectacular watches that can be had for uh, very little. So in this video, I will shortly compare the uh, Seiko against the Citizen. I will compare uh, things such as the case, the dial, bracelet, movement, bezel, uh, the, the fit, retail price, and overall I will um, uh, wrap up this video by giving some of my personal uh, remarks and conclusions. So let's start with the Seiko. Let's um, put this Citizen watch uh, to the side. Let's have a look at the case of this watch. So we have a um, thickness of 13 uh, millimeters. We have a diameter, which is uh, this distance. Excluding the crown, we're dealing with 42.3 millimeters. And we have a lock to lock distance, which is this um, dimension from tip uh, to tip which is about 42 and a half or maybe 43 millimeters so that is very very narrow um, one more noteworthy thing uh, to show uh, with this case is we can find some drilled lock holes right here and on this side uh, obviously and the purpose of these drilled lock holes are it is super easy to uh, change the strap all you have to do is uh, insert a paper clip or a toolbar tool and you can easily press out uh, the uh, spring bar that is attached here in the bracelet so that is a very useful feature and let's have a look at the back of the case. We can find a screw down case back with a beautiful logo of that uh, tsunami logo. Really beautiful. So that is a bit of the case of the Seiko. Now let's proceed with the uh, Citizen watch. So here we have the uh, Citizen watch. Uh, this watch has a thickness of only uh, 12 millimeters. So the thickness of this um, case is um, a whole millimeter thinner than the uh, Seiko uh, Mini Turtle. Now let's have a look at the diameter. The diameter, again, uh, this distance, excluding the crown, uh, measures... 42 millimeters, which is a tiny fraction uh, smaller than uh, the Seiko uh, Mini Turtle. Beautiful uh, case. Um, lock to lock distance uh, is 48 millimeters, which is quite a bit uh, longer than the uh, Seiko. Let's Throw them in one shot. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this accurately, but the Seiko is here, or the, the top one, the Seiko Mini Turtle, is much shorter luck to luck. And also, I think the Seiko case, I think it curves down more. So when you have a look at this. Uh, the shape of the case I think there's much more uh, curvature compared to the uh, Citizen which I find the Citizen to be more more flat there's there are some curve to it but not as much as the um, Seiko Mini Turtle now let's have a look at the case back also we can see that the uh, the case back is uh, screwed down 
and we have a bit of um, a citizen logo not as pretty as the Seiko in my opinion and you can see that the plastic is still on it so um, you can actually take it off Ooh, there we go so that is the back of this watch very very simple very plain now let's proceed with the uh, dial uh, this citizen watch uh, it features a mineral crystal we have a beautiful sunburst effect on the dial I try to uh, give you the effect of the dial let me try to um, show you what I mean so when we rotate the watch in different uh, directions the dial having different light conditions we can see that uh, the blue dial uh, really plays with the light so we can see all kinds of um, subtle differences in term in terms of um, the blueness of the dial I think in this angle the dial of the watch almost looks black so all in all this dial is um, very beautiful it's stunningly beautiful and the blue uh, is never um, odd or it's it's never standard it's always uh, changing in different uh, uh, circumstances so Definitely, this is not a boring dial, but it's a very uh, joyful, playful. Um, what else? On the dial, we can see quite some uh, loom applied. Let's try to get a bit closer. Yeah, on the dial here, at the hour markers, we see very rich uh, loom applied. The loom is uh, almost as strong as the Seiko loom. We have beautiful hands. The hands are quite short. They don't reach the uh, to the very end. They're, if you look at the second hand, you can see that the second hand is missing about um, a millimeter or so to reach the uh, outer ring. We have some subtle, uh, subtle um, red at the six o'clock position, the 200 meters, and here at the Citizen logo, which is the ProMaster logo, and then at the three o'clock position, uh, we can see a black uh, date wheel featuring both the day of the week and the date so yeah, that's a bit of the the dial of uh, this citizen now let's proceed with the uh, Seiko the dial of the Seiko is uh, completely different the blue does not play with the light uh, as much as the uh, citizen um, I think it's rather uh, not blue and it matches the uh, bezel very pretty dial. I think it's um, I think it's more cropped perhaps than the Citizen uh, somehow, and uh, it has beautiful applied uh, markers with um, a whole lot of uh, loom. Uh, we can see that uh, Prospect's logo at the six o'clock position, and this is quite funny when the second hand goes uh, through the cyclops it creates this rather nice effect of um, uh, you see this magnification i think it's pretty cool uh, to see um, yeah beautiful dial um, i'm not too fond of the um, magnifying cyclops i don't mind uh, the date wheel is white and um, I have no issue with this date wheel. I think it's um, rather pretty. Uh, 
Now let's proceed uh, with the bracelet. So here again, the uh, Seiko uh, Mini Turtle comes on this beautiful uh, rubber strap. The rubber strap is, is um, thick and it is super soft. I think it's very comfortable. And it has quite some nice um, hardware attached. Here we can see this uh, keeper with the uh, Seiko uh, brand name uh, lasered into it, I guess. I think it's very pretty. And we have a very sturdy, uh, very sturdy clasp. Um, yeah, just really, really something. Um, we will proceed with the um, uh, Citizen in a bit. Just wanted to show you the difference in terms of that uh, clasp. The, the Seiko clasp is huge. And I think that's very pretty. Now let's uh, have a look at the uh, number of uh, holes. You can see probably you'll find a very comfortable fit. And lastly, uh, at the very uh, bottom of this uh, bracelet, we can find that uh, beautiful Seiko logo. Let me see if we can focus here. We can see that beautiful logo that we can also see on the case back. I really like this bracelet, but I think in the end of the day, I will upgrade this, um, this strap for a, a metal bracelet by strap code. I'm talking here about the Angus Jubilee. I think that would look very pretty. Now let's proceed um, with the uh, Citizen um, rubber strap. This rubber strap is really um, very sturdy. I think it's very rigid. It is not as soft as the Seiko, which uh, I think makes the Seiko strap much more comfortable. Uh, here we have some uh, holes, I think, for ventilation. The strap has this very nice buckle with a ProMaster logo. And I think the buckle has a bit of um, brushed elements uh, to it. So that's the back of the strap. As you see, I did wear this strap for quite uh, some time. Um, very nice uh, color uh, blue and here we can find these uh, these uh, I think decompression uh, time limits I'm not a diver myself so I really don't know how to use these but I've seen this uh, table uh, on uh, straps by several citizen watches so I guess that's kind of classic. So this strap by um, Citizen, it's not really my uh, cup of tea. I've been wearing this um, this uh, watch uh, on uh, NATO straps mostly. And let me show you another uh, thing. Um, I bought the uh, Citizen watch uh, on this uh, metal bracelet. Um, and I can highly recommend you to avoid buying this bracelet because I think this um, metal bracelet really sucks. I really hate it. Um, as you can see, we have uh, folded links, so no, no solid links. Uh, we have hollow end links. So rattling 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 uh, the hold on all these parts well this reminds me a bit of um, the uh, SKX that I'm wearing now uh, this kind of clasp is, is kind of similar but this part is really really flimsy I believe um, great thing about the watch it has uh, a kind of like a diver extension so 
I guess that's the only nice thing about this watch, this, uh, this, this diver uh, extension. Uh, but I don't find it to be very solid or convincing either. So <laughs> I got this bracelet for free. It came with the watch. But I wouldn't definitely uh, go and buy this bracelet. See, it all falls apart. Um, yeah, rather nasty bracelet, which is very surprising for such an excellent watch to have such a horrible bracelet. So yeah, you better go with an aftermarket uh, metal bracelet if that's your thing. I know Watch Gecko makes some nice um, metal uh, bracelets as well as strap code and uh, probably there's many other um, out there making um, uh, wonderful metal bracelets but i haven't seen uh, metal bracelets that um, fit precisely to the uh, case of this watch so with uh, custom uh, end links uh, so anyways that is the bracelet of the uh, citizen watch now let's proceed with the movement the citizen watch runs on a uh, miyoda movement the caliber a203 it features a day and a date um, a functionality 45 hours power reserve operating at 21,600 beats per hours 21 jewels and it has an accuracy of about minus 10 to plus 20 seconds a day and um, this watch also features uh, quick set very easy to set um, uh, the day and date and um, the watch also features um, uh, hand winding so here at the uh, eight o'clock position we have the crown i put the watch upside down which with my right hand makes it quite easy to operate the crown the crown is super sturdy bring it to the neutral position this just, just so and all we have to do is rotate the crown upwards and this way we can hand wind the movement the watch does not hack let me demonstrate when I pull out the crown all the way out we can see that the uh, watch uh, continues to operate so no uh, hacking functionality hacking is quite useful at times to precisely set the time to precisely set the um, second hand um, yeah so no hacking we can press it down again and bring it back to the neutral position so miyoda movement um, i think together with the um, uh, movement uh, 7s26 which uh, we can find in for example the Seiko SKX 013 I think the uh, Miyoda movement is very very sturdy and it, it has been um, uh, proven that it can last for a very long time even without servicing this watch so that's a very um, well-known uh, movement now let's go to the uh, Seiko. The Seiko has the in-house movement caliber 4R35. It features manual wind and hacking. It has a power reserve of 41 hours. So four hours um, less compared to the um, Citizen watch. It operates uh, at a frequency of um, 21,600 beats per hour. It features 23 jewels and it has an accuracy of minus 35 to plus 45 seconds a day. So this movement all in all uh, uh, can be less uh, accurate to the uh, citizen. Um, I haven't tested accuracy uh, of these watches myself. So I'm basing this just on the uh, 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 specifications uh, as stated by um, these companies the biggest advantage over this movement 
in comparison to the uh, citizen, in my opinion, is um, the uh, hacking function. So here we have the crown situated at the three o'clock position. When I unscrew the crown, just so, to the neutral position, when I um, bring the crown to the first and second position, we can see that the um, second hand stops running. So that is called hacking. When I press it down again, watch starts uh, moving. Yeah, this uh, yeah, movement, I don't know how it will last over time, but um, the 4R35 is well known. And I think it's also, Seiko also uh, sells this uh, movement to other companies uh, under a different name. I think it's something like uh, M35 or something, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, so definitely a well-known uh, movement. Now let's go over the uh, bezel. Uh, the bezel of the uh, Seiko, uh, as you can see, is uh, blue. It has, um, I think, quite a thin profile. Uh, so what I mean is the height of the bezel itself um, is not enormous. It's, it's pretty subtle. And all around, we can see, um, well, you, you fill in my gaps. I have no, <laughs> I don't know how to call this, these teeth maybe. Um, very easy to operate. Let me demonstrate. So here we have it. Um, the bezel rotates only into one direction. So it's unidirectional. And the watch has 120 clicks. The bezel is super easy to use. It's very smooth. And as you can see, there's not a lot of play on the bezel. Let me try to demonstrate it one more time. You see, I apply quite some force, but the bezel does not really uh, slip. So let's try to um, line it up. So that's it. I think the alignment of this um, bezel is um, flawless. Let me know if you agree with me. So that is the bezel. I use the bezel um, uh, day to day for timing purposes. So for example, I want to uh, go for like a 10 minute break. What I do is I align the uh, triangle here on the bezel at the 12 o'clock position of the bezel. I will uh, align it with the minute hand. Oh, that's not really aligned, but you get the picture. And when we can see the minute hand at the uh, 10 minute mark on the bezel, we know that 10 minutes have elapsed. So yeah, it's very easy to operate this bezel. So that was the bezel of the uh, Seiko Mini Turtle. Really like it. Now let's proceed with the uh, citizen uh, bezel. So what do we have here? Uh, we can see that this bezel is uh, much um, taller or higher, much, much thicker. And we can see the pattern of these, um, I, I called it teeth earlier. Uh, this pattern is uh, very different uh, compared to the Seiko. This bezel has a, um, uh, black uh, insert and the bezel um, operates with uh, 60 clicks The bezel I think is very 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 sturdy. I think it's even uh, sturdier than the uh, Seiko and definitely I find there is less play with this bezel also and uh, What you would expect is the bezel uh, properly lines up with the uh, uh, chapter ring, indices, the whole lot. So really a fan of this bezel. The bezel, um, as I stated earlier, only has 60 clicks. Uh, I don't really mind. Um, yeah, this, this thing works very well. It definitely looks a bit more aggressive. Um, definitely looks more uh, 
too tastic than the Seiko, which is um, a much more subtle. So that is the bezel. Now uh, let's have a look at the fit of uh, these watches. Now let's start with the um, uh, Citizen uh, ProMaster. Let's throw it on the wrist and share with you how it fits. So first of all, I have a six and a quarter uh, uh, inch uh, wrist and um, I wear it here, as you can see. I think this is the, the fourth uh, hole of the rubber strap. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, this way it gives me a nice fit. So uh, here we have it on wrist. Uh, as you can see, I think this uh, watch wears um, quite nice. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit. Maybe that's better. So as you can see, I have quite uh, tiny wrists. And with this um, uh, watch, uh, wears, I think it wears very well. Let me zoom out even more. Uh, you can see that the lock to lock distance uh, is shorter than my uh, wrist distance. So I think I can get away with uh, this size. Yeah, I think it works uh, quite well. One more time. Yeah, this is, feels very nice. And when I'm wearing uh, dress shirts, I can even uh, tuck away the watch. So that's um, a nice bonus. Now let's proceed with the uh, Seiko. Here we have the Seiko. And we had that beautiful butter smooth uh, rubber strap. Uh, plenty of uh, holes. Let me demonstrate. I'm wearing this watch also on the fourth uh, hole. Beautiful soft rubber, beautiful hardware, uh, this beautiful keeper. Now, let's have a closer look. Let me uh, lift uh, the camera again to give you um, a better uh, overview. And those were my notes here on the left. So uh, let's have a closer look. Um, this watch definitely feels and wears uh, even smaller than the uh, Citizen ProMaster. Um, you literally hardly feel uh, this watch at all. I think it's really uh, spectacular. Really love how this feels and very comfy. So that's the um, Seiko Mini Turtle on this uh, six and a quarter uh, inch uh, one 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 little detail when you, can you see when i'm lifting up my hand this way um, the crown should dig into my hand doesn't really happen um, but talking about how this watch fits i think with the uh, uh, citizen watch with the crown here on the left side I think um, uh, that is even better than having the crown uh, on the three o'clock position in uh, talking about comfort. Um, regardless, I think the fit of this watch is excellent. And uh, one more thing I'm very, uh, uh, what can I say? I'm very um, uh, curious uh, what these things uh, weigh. So here I have a skill, uh, we have the citizen. Let's toss it on the skill uh, here. We're talking about grams. We're dealing here with uh, 96 grams on the original uh, rubber strap. Now let's take off the uh, citizen, uh, pardon me, the Seiko. So there we go. Seiko, are you ready? Let's go. So 
yeah, these watches in terms of weight are actually very similar. This watch weighs uh, 100 grams, so 4 grams more compared to the uh, Citizen. So, as you see, I've been wearing lots of watches in the sun, so that's funny. Okay, um, so that is uh, fit. So let's talk about um, uh, prices. So the uh, retail price of the uh, ProMaster that we have here on the left is uh, 240 US dollars. I bought this watch on uh, Chrono 24 with the uh, very uh, dreadful metal bracelet for only 100, 180 euros here in the Netherlands from a wonderful jeweler. Now let's talk about the uh, Seiko Mini Turtle. This particular version can be had for uh, 360 uh, US dollars and it is widely available. I bought this uh, piece uh, second hand. It was only used um, very briefly, I think only a couple of months, and I bought it for 263 euros. So uh, let me uh, conclude. Uh, these are both uh, ISO certified automatic dive watches. I think they're really beautiful. Uh, both 200 meters uh, water resist, uh, both on rubber straps. Um, I think the clear winner in terms of straps has to be Seiko. This strap is just beautiful. Don't like the uh, rubber strap on the Citizen, but it's not bad. Um, I think the, the movement of the Seiko is, um, it offers more uh, functionality, uh, with, especially with uh, hacking. I think the movement of the Seiko is a clear winner. Um, on the other hand, the, the Citizen watch, uh, it has been around for uh, ever since the, I think 96 or 98. So this movement is very trustworthy of the Citizen. Uh, and I think it's more accurate even. Uh, in terms of the crown, I think the Citizen is a clear winner with the crown on the left. I really like the look. It's quite um, uh, distinct. It's quite unique, I think. And the crown here at the uh, three o'clock position on the uh, Seiko, it works um, uh, well, but I think it's not as unique as the uh, Citizen. Then uh, let's talk about the uh, dial. I think the clear winner here is uh, Citizen. This dial is unbelievable uh, beautiful. And I will include a shot of uh, some daylight. Um, also, I think the winner goes to Citizen talking about the bezel. I think this bezel, this black bezel with those very uh, impressive teeth, uh, very sturdy, really like it. Uh, date view also really like the way Citizen um, has done it. Well, what else uh, in terms of fit? For me, the winner is the uh, Seiko. I think this is just super comfortable and those drilled lock holes make it so easy to um, replace straps. Case back, I think also clear winner is uh, Seiko. Uh, I mean, that, that logo is so timeless. I really love it. So all in all, I think both these watches, oh, and one more thing, price, of course. I think the Citizen can be had for uh, way cheaper than the uh, Seiko. So it really depends where you want to go. For my tiny wrists, I think the uh, Mini Turtle really, really is a clear winner in terms of fit. I really like the functionality, but there is something I think extraordinary about the Citizen. I really love the look. So I think the winner goes to, uh, to Citizen uh, in terms of aftermarket strap options with the mini turtle you have uh, more options i spoke about uh, strap code angus jubilee uh, i think it look looks uh, wonderful i don't like the original seiko metal bracelet um, not the quality is not as uh, on par with the uh, strap code in my opinion thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video i hope it was helpful uh, to you. If you have any questions, then um, 
hit me up on YouTube or on Instagram. I will get back to you. Um, again, these were my personal opinions. I think you can't go wrong with any of these. Uh, truly love them both. And um, I hope to see you back on my channel uh, real soon. Have a wonderful day and uh, take care.